sharing, caring, and devotion. It's about dependability and interdependence in balance with equality, growth, freedom, and respect. This is the sweetest of relationships and the deepest of friendships. It is woven of tenderness and romance and of trust, respect, communication, and laughter shared. And so, Albert and Natalie, I now ask for your consent to this marriage, and I ask you first, Albert, do you take Natalie to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for all the days of your life? I do. That was the right answer. <laughs> take Albert to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for all the days of your life. I Natalie and Albert, yeah, she said the right answer. <laughs> Albert and Natalie, you have chosen to marry because you belong not to each other, but with each other and share a mutual bond. Your marriage will be built upon your ongoing commitment. It is making choices every day for the rest of your lives. You will choose whether to be faithful or whether to be kind and patient with each other. You will choose whether to find fault or to be accepting and forgiving, and whether or not to continue to love each other as you do today. In the days and the years ahead, you will have to choose again and again whether or not to keep your love as the most important part of your lives. Choice is a sacred word because it's your sacred responsibility to make your choices lovingly, to select beauty and joy by the way you choose to perceive life and one another. And so we encourage you, Albert and Emily, to look at one another through the eyes of your devotion, to support one another through the good times and the bad, to accept one another just as you are and just as you are not, and to honor the gifts you bestow upon each other with your teaching, your learning, your tenderness, and your enthusiasm. Finally, always be willing to talk and share with your partner. Listen well that you may learn each other's feelings and needs and never assume the other can read your thoughts. Keep in your hearts this truth. The power of love is the greatest and most transformative power in the universe. Be truthful that you may be trusting. Be respectful and kind to one another and to yourselves. Now, ladies and gentlemen, since Albert and Natalie enjoy finding new recipes and cooking and eating together, today for their wedding, they've chosen a reading called Recipe for a Happy Marriage. And here is how you make one. In a large capacity mixing bowl, whisk together three cups of genuine love, two cups of friendship, not imitation, one cup of tender affection, two tablespoons of happy thoughts. Then in a separate container, sit together four cups of commitment, firmly packed, three cups of selflessness, two cups of mutual respect, and two cups of hard work. One cup of forgiveness, not optional. One heaping cup of patience. A half cup of understanding, half cup of humility, two tablespoons of true grit. Fold the love and affection mixture into the dry ingredients and blend until smooth. Pour into a well-oiled pan and bake until golden. Glaze with liberal amounts of physical intimacy and sprinkle heavily with a sense of adventure. This recipe makes two generous portions, but it does not freeze well, so you will have to make a fresh batch daily. This recipe is best served warm with a side of ice cream and sprinkled with blueberries. <laughs> And so, Albert and Natalie, I now invite you to participate in your wedding ceremony. So, Albert, you're going to look at your beautiful bride, and you're going to repeat your vows to Natalie after your name. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Natalie, I will love you today. And for all the days, we are blessed to be together.
Thank you for the love and happiness you have brought into my life for loving me as I am and as I am not. I will be true to you always and through all the changes in our lives. I promise to be there for you as a strength in need, a comfort in sorrow, a counselor in difficulty, and a companion in joy. And that is your son. Albert, I will love you today. Albert, I will love you today. And for all the days. And for all the days. We are blessed to be together. We are blessed to be together. Thank you for the love and happiness. Thank you for the love and happiness. You have brought into my life. For loving me as I am. For loving me as I am. And as I am not. And as I am not. I will be true to you always. I will be true to you always. And through all the changes in our lives. And through all the changes in our lives. I promise to be there for you. I promise to be there for you. As a strength in need. As a strength in need. A comfort in sorrow. A comfort in sorrow. A counselor in difficulty. And a companion in joy. Wedding rings are a symbol that joins a couple heart to heart. They represent the unity, renewal, and commitment inherent in marriage. As circles, wedding rings remind us that as we give love, so love will come back around to us and will serve as a reminder of your vows and promise of faithfulness made here today. They are also an outward and public sign of a deeply personal and sacred inner relationship, a reminder of your covenant with one another. Let your rings encircle your feelings as your love encircles the world. This is your moment, Dan. <laughs> Natalie, accept this ring as my gift to you. Let it be a reminder of our covenant of lifelong faithfulness and love. Albert, accept this ring. Albert, accept this ring. As my gift to you. As my gift to you. Let it be a reminder. Let it be a reminder. Of our covenant. Of our covenant. Of lifelong faithfulness. Of lifelong faithfulness. And love. And love. <laughs> Natalie and Albert. As you travel through life, focus on the good and special things you discover about each other. Keep these treasures in your minds and hearts to value every day and to use as stepping stones in those times where the ground seems to fall away from beneath your feet. Learn to use the spiritual gifts of inner strength and these stored love treasures as you together rebuild the path to higher ground and maintain always the nurture, respect, and love for each other that we see in your eyes today. Now to commemorate their marriage today, Albert and Natalie have decided to do a pre-pulsing ceremony to symbolize the root 